Hey, what's going on you guys? What's up? My name's Barbarian, and welcome back to another Walking Dead episode. Guys, we've done a lot of work, and we've got a lot more to do, but it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be an exciting journey. Now, before I begin the video, I just want to let you guys know that the series that I am planning on starting on the server will be happening this coming weekend. It's going to be pretty exciting, and I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. But, if you're new around here, maybe you just found out my channel from this series, or you only watch this series, I encourage you to subscribe, hit that sub button, and, you know, you'll be alerted to any time I upload a new video, whether or not it's this, and if any of them interest you, you could, you know, feel free to take a look. But, enough about all that, let's talk about what I I've done. You see, I went mining, and I found a good amount of ores. A decent amount, not a super good amount, but, you know, what are you gonna do? I ended up mining out this because, well, it really didn't fit there. I kind of want to put it back, but then at the same time I can't get up, so I probably won't. Maybe I'll just put it, like, right there. There we go, get rid of that, I don't really need it. So that's pretty much what I did. I made a nice little walkway that I can, oh geez, okay, I can protect myself from. Uh, and then the buttons make it so that way the zombies most likely can't walk through the door, which is always a plus. I still haven't moved my chickens, because I, I don't know why I haven't moved them. And I haven't moved the walkway yet. But I wanted to smelt this iron. Ooh, and some food. Perfect. I wanted to smelt this iron because I felt like it's time for me to start placing the iron bars around the walkway. I think that's a, a good step in the right direction, but it's gonna require a lot of zombie killing. Luckily, I've got my hero, my hero armor, which is gonna help me, and uh, yeah, it should be pretty good. Other than that, there's really not too, too much to talk about. Uh, some of my zombies disappeared. Some of them stayed. Actually, I think a good amount of them stayed. Some of them did disappear, though. So, we'll pop this open so we know it's empty. This one's empty too, I think. Full. Full. Uh, that one's in the ground, I guess. And there's a cow in there, which is awesome. So, we've got a decent amount of stuff going on. Now, the next thing we need to do is figure out this door system. Because, honestly, I'm not too sure how I'm going to work this. I think what I'm going to do is fill it in with cobblestone. And then just put an iron door with the button system. I think I like that the best. But I wasn't a hundred percent sure, so I wanted to make, you know, I wanted to, I don't know, toy around with things a little bit. I think that it's always good to get different points of view. Now I know I have some more cobblestone. There it is. Oh, there, there it goes. And boom. All right. So we'll go like this. And we'll make ourselves an iron door just to, just to test the waters. You know, just to make sure it looks looks cool. I think we got enough iron in our inventory now. Let's see. Perfect. All right, we'll make ourselves that, and then let's see. I wish I had an axe again. I probably should make one, but what fun is that? Right, let's see. Go like this. See, it just looks too. I don't know. It's big. It just looks like a big block. I think I have an idea on how to fix that, though. Maybe. Oh crap. Oh crap. I forgot. I don't have a button to get back in my door. Uh, okay. I'm gonna have to do that temporarily. I'm sure we'll fix that eventually. Not that big of a deal. Drop, drop. Ah, perfect. Alright. See, what I'm thinking is I could put bars there, and maybe on top, and it wouldn't look so bad. I'm really not too sure, but, you know, we have a, a little bit of bars. We have three, and I'm sure we can make some more. In fact, I think we can make more with just six of these and make 16 of those. So that's more than enough. Shh. Quiet. I said quiet. Let's see. Do we have any sticks? No. Probably not. Make ourselves a pickaxe and an axe. Alright. And a pickaxe. Perfect. We got our supplies. Our supplies that we need. And, uh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna put that. The thing is, this has to be surrounded, so it would actually be here. And it'd only be, like, that much. You see, I don't really... Uh, maybe if I did one more over, and I kind of capped it off like that. You know, I think I, could I think I could deal with that. That looks good. Maybe. Just go like this, make sure everything's nice and capped off, and 
We'll make it look good. See, that actually looks pretty decent. I kind of like it. And it still looks like a prison, but at the same time, I don't need to worry about, uh, you know, well, any of the bad stuff, like the bad stuff coming in or looking like it's going to come in. This way, I can just get up and down pretty darn easily. The problem being, I don't think I can place the other button on the piece of wall that I need to. Let's see, can I place it right there? I don't want to press the button to test it, but I'm pretty sure that's the right level. So that's good. And we've got our stuff smelting, and along with all those zombies being really loud, so we're going to go over here, and hopefully they don't follow me. I'm hoping they don't. Uh, they probably will, though. I can hear them. All right, let's just make ourselves... Make ourselves this. Perfect. And, you know, if we have to go to a different one to start off, I'm okay with that. Although this one would be the one that I want to do. Oh, God, okay. Might have to take a quick detour around around that. With some food in here. Num, num, num. Grab this and... Guys, I'm pretty excited about this server. I'm not going to lie. Me and Andrew have been working real hard. And if you guys haven't seen the thumbnail for me and Steve, I'll try and put it on screen. Uh, I'm not sure if I can, if I figure that out yet. Uh, I'm using a new editing software. So it's a little bit difficult for me to do things like that. But I think I should be able to manage, maybe. Uh, now, do I want to make it so it's along this? I'm guessing yes. Or do I want to make it so it's along this? Hmm. I'm thinking on the wood. On the wood looks good. Just, I don't know, it looks more professional. And it matches the idea. Alright, so we'll go like this. But yeah, uh, I'm using Adobe Premiere. It's pretty fun, not gonna lie. I do like it a lot better than Sony Vegas. It just takes a while to get used to, you know? It's not the same editing program. It doesn't have the same features. Uh, it's kind of difficult. Oh, God. Okay, I've dealt with these types of things before. <laughs> Let me just kill you real quick. Uh... So the iron supply, not too bad. Uh, about 100 of these would probably make, I'd say, 200 iron bars. And really, that's all we need. We only need a little bit. The problem is going to be stacking these because it's so difficult to walk. Now, this, I guess, isn't that hard. But <laughs> placing it directly on top, uh, not, not my easiest task. But that's okay. Didn't, it didn't ask for easy. I want this to be awesome. And it's gonna... When this is done, this is going to be a pretty dope prison base. I have to say... Uh, I have to say so myself. I'm pretty excited about the fact that I'm, <laughs> that I'm gonna be able to have this. Now, I'm thinking three high should look good. But I want to make sure... I don't want it to look like I, I cheaped out. And I didn't use enough. But I think three high is good. Yeah. And, I mean, two high does protect me. But, at the same time, I want to make sure that, you know, I can... We really should have made that on center, shouldn't I? <laughs> well, what are you going to do? I'll have to rework that a little tiny bit. I like it. It worked well. Uh, let's see what's in here. More steak! Fantastic. Let's smelt you in there. And then, let's go back. Where's my canteen? Water canteen? Am I full of water? Yes, I am, but I'm still going to drink some. See how full I can get my water. There we go. Close enough. Alright, let's go back over to the place where the other iron is smelting. Hopefully that's done. If it's done, then we can get the other stuff done. And then, I think we're, we're, we got a pretty good supply of stuff. Not supply. Uh, like, quest of stuff to do. And quest of stuff to complete. I'm pretty pumped about it. Pretty excited. Let's see. Any zombies? No? Alright, I'm gonna quickly do this. Quickly. Quickly make sure. Okay, that, that's not going to work. No, I don't know how I'm going to do the corner. I'm assuming this may not look 100% right. Yeah, it doesn't look quite right. Mmm. Was not expecting that. Was not expecting that at all. Alright, you know what we might have to do? Might have to make some, some half slabs. Can I make half slabs like that? No, that's a pressure plate. Alright. I'm going to do this real quick. This is a stealth mission. Gotta be stealthy. Uh, now make some half slabs. Okay, that's probably enough. Hopefully it's enough anyway. And I think I'm gonna go like this. There we go. That looks better. And it also kind of looks neat. I don't know. I think it looks nice. 
And at least it doesn't make the sides look like they're floating. Because that wouldn't protect us from crawlers. They could crawl right underneath us. That's not good. We don't want that. Let's, uh... Okay, oh yeah, that looks much better. Much more awesome and professional. And I think the three tall is a good idea. I think that's probably what we need. So, that's what I'm gonna do. And hopefully, I can get up. Not really sure if I'll be able to or not. There we go. Using the half slabs as my little thing. So when I get all the iron smelted, I'm gonna finish up that. Hopefully it's enough. If it's not, then I'm gonna be pretty sad. But I'm pretty sure it will be. I think we have 50-something smelting another one, nine in there. And if I need to grab more, I guess I could. But I'll do all that, show you guys, and then uh, we'll think about what's next. This one is finished, and it looks pretty good. Got to figure out what I'm going to do for this because there's a big step up. So I'm thinking maybe either some stairs or mining this out, lowering the floor level down one. But that'd be a pretty big construction project. Not sure if I really want to take that on and redo basically the whole entire castle. It would also affect the ceiling height downstairs. So I'm thinking probably a stairwell and then raising this up one more just so it doesn't feel like I'm hitting my head every time I walk through. But... Overall, I think it looks really good, and I think it's going to be awesome. Uh, this, I like. I'm thinking I might want to do a layer or something, maybe something letting it up. But honestly, I think this is a pretty good start. And if I do the other two just like this, we're going to have a good time. So we've got an above-ground pathway and a below-ground pathway now, which is just fantastic. Pretty much a waste, I mean, if you look at it from a resource perspective. But I had the resources, and it looks really cool. So I'm glad I did it. But, you know, people might be a little bit upset I didn't spend the iron on some armor or whatnot. But I think the hero armor is actually just as good as iron armor, if not better, because it looks like a badass. I'm not going to lie. It looks pretty darn cool. The only thing that I wish I had more was some camo. I feel like camo would do me some justice because I could just hide from the zombies. I feel like that'd be kind of neat to do. But, eh, what are you going to do? It's not the end of the world. And my iron smelted and it gave me... I think four stacks, I, I want to say four or maybe three, I'm not really sure. Someone can probably look back at the video and tell me how much iron I had. I think it was like 70-ish, so that probably made into three or four stacks of this stuff. That's the good thing about iron bars. They may be very useful, but they aren't uh, very hard to get, at least. That, at least not these types of iron bars, which is kind of nice. I didn't really want to have anything that was like super expensive but at the same time I didn't want to just make a big dirt wall that was super easy to make I mean that's no fun I don't need to do that I'll oh, thank you for the water sir I will take a water I'm quite parched let's go oh geez uh, go like this real quick there you go all right so I'm trying to decide how I'm gonna handle the going up like that I'm thinking I may make it four tall right there, kind of go like up on an angle, I'm not really 100% sure yet. Because this leaves us at three. That's three tall. But see, once you get over to here, I need some food. Once you get over to the other area, it's only two tall. And can't have that, so we're going to have to probably fix it somehow. I'm thinking we're going to move up like this. Hopefully... It works well. Let's see. I mean, then it's only it's still only three tall, but I mean, it technically is four tall, I guess, if you look at it from the sense of where the rest of it is. But I don't I don't really care. It's going to be fine. We'll look at it and it'll be great. All right. Only problem is I can't get up there without jumping up. So I'm going to have to keep coming back. Oh, damn it. All right. Let's I don't want to leave a big pillar out here that the zombies could crawl up on. So we'll go right there. Let's do this. We can do a pillar in here. I guess this is not the biggest problem in the world. I wish they had like a half thing or a half block. Maybe like a iron bar stair. That way we could, I don't know, cover the top of it. I don't know. It seems it seemed like a cooler idea at the time. Like, I don't know. Just to make it more of a slightly gradient step up. I'm not too sure what I really meant there, but whatever, I thought it would look cool, so 
maybe that could be added in with the mod. One of the things we've been talking about adding to the mod is barbed wire, because it would be an interesting concept to find a roll of barbed wire as a loot item, and then also be able to take it and, you know, place it around your base or place it on top of your base or on the outside of your base. I think it'd be kind of an interesting concept. So I've been talking to Andrew about what that would take, and he thinks it's possible. So we're going to give it our best, our best shot, really. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then, you know, hey, we'll figure it out for the next major mod update. But all signs point to it being plausible and honestly a pretty good idea. Andrew was really, you know, into that idea. So I'm like, you know, why don't we do that? It seems like a kind of a cool concept. Now, this is actually coming along quite nice, my base. But like I said, it's going to be ending this, uh, I believe it's a Saturday. Let me check the date. Uh, March 1st, yeah, this Saturday. That's when the server launches. That's when my series will launch. And I'm pretty excited that you guys are going to get to watch that. So hopefully you all enjoy that series as much as you enjoy this one. But, you know, it's going to be a little bit different, but I think it's going to be different in a good way, not in a, a bad way or, a, you know, a restrictive way. It's going to be different in a way that opens new possibilities for the series. So, that being said, guys, uh, I think we're done here. I think we've, we've done our duty here, and then I think our next step, I'm not really sure what we're going to do 100%, but I think we're going to finish off the underground walkways which i've been putting off for a while because it's just simple building but i think once it looks once it looks awesome maybe we build a storage room and that'll pretty much be it i don't foresee there being too many other updates or episodes until saturday maybe three maybe we'll end it on 25 not really 100 percent sure on that um, ending it on 25 sounds pretty cool though so i guess that might be what we do but anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget, a rating is always appreciated, and if you're new around here, you can subscribe and see all the other episodes, but other than that, I, you know, I guess that's pretty much does it for this. As always, my name's Barbarian, peace out.